What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Jo So Shifty man, and I gotta talk bad about 2K to y'all for a second, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been seeing some trash in 2K19. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. It's been all type of crazy stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? From people being invisible on a court in the park to you making like 75% of your shots in my career, but it said that you made like 40% once you get your rep for it or something like that, and then to just you making shots in the wreck, but you see the scoreboard go up, but it don't go towards your points in the game. Like, bro, it's just all type of crazy stuff that's wrong with 2K, bro. Just so many bugs. The game is good, but it's a lot of bugs going on in this 2K. And it need to stop, Ronnie. You got to fix it. It got to be some done to it. But instead of talking about that, man, today I'm going to talk to y'all about the worst badges in the game. This is hands down the worst badges to me. That stood out the most out of the badges that I got. You can see how many badges I got. You know what I'm saying? You see I got most of mine maxed out. Now look, before I get into this, man, I want to say make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Definitely coming with content. So go ahead and sub right now. You feel me? That'll be greatly appreciated. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this video, man. Now, number two on my list has to be tireless score. This badge is so terrible to me. And it's crazy because in every other 2K, this badge was so OP. Like, you could be spamming dribbles the entire time, flashing Gatorade, your meter is flashing. And you pull up a jump shot, you get a green light. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of my main badges. As you can see, I could get a Hall of Fame. And it took me so long to grind for this badge before they had updated it. Because at first, when this 2K first came out, you barely got any points for tireless score. Any at all. And I grinded hard to get this badge. And once I got it, got it go. It was terrible, but I ain't seen no difference. Like, my meter is flashing. I'm not hitting the shot. I might hit the shot in park every once in a while. But in rec, you cannot hit a shot while your meter is flashing. And park, you probably go shoot like one for five if you flashing. Like, bro, it is terrible. It does not increase your chances of making a shot. It only work good for layups. But who need a meter to, who need tireless score to make a layup when your meter is flashing? If I miss a layup, whether I'm dying from being tired or not, it's a, it's a wrap for 2K if I miss a layup. So tireless score is basically pointless, but I'm telling you, do not grind for this badge. It is not worth it at all. It's terrible. It is not going to make a difference in your gameplay. I took many a shots leaning and regular jump shots. I have not made not one. Like, I probably made one out of my whole 2K19 career so far. You feel me? And that's it. It's not worth it at all. So, I know a lot of y'all probably got this badge already. But if you one of those that's trying to max it out and like, yeah, I'm finna go crazy once I get this badge. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm finna be making everything while I'm tired. That's not the case at all. It's not gonna happen. It's terrible. Now, look, man. Number one on the list. I was highly disappointed about this because this is one of my primary badges. I'm pretty sure that y'all know what I'm talking about right now. But look, number one worst badge that is the most pointless is mid-range dead eye. <laughs> now, this is just a joke to me. Now, see, I'm hearing sharps, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, yeah, deep range dead eye. You know, it activate uh, when you're taking lightly contested threes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they getting, they bad to activate, so it's going to help them hit the shot. Everybody knows when you take a lean-in mid or a regular mid, if it's lightly contested, mid-range dead eye do not activate. So this badge is pointless, bro, and it's so stupid because in all the other 2Ks, you will see straight shot creators just pulling up stupid shots, and they hitting everything because mid-range dead eye is activated. But that's not the case this time, not on this 2K. And I'm pissed because I got a shot creator this time. Last time I was a playmaking sharp. Now I have a shot creator. And now y'all badges don't want to work. This is one of the most important badges as a shot creator. And it doesn't work. It looked like it worked for pure shot creators. Because pure shot creators be hitting all of the worst jump shots that you could ever see possible. They hit everything. But I don't get to hit nothing with this badge. Like when you take a lightly contested jump. You could, I ain't got no gameplay. But you can test it out yourself. Take a mid range. And it's going to say lightly contested. You are not going to see this badge activate. The badge only activate when you take a heavily contested jump shots. And y'all know how this defense of how the defense is on this 2K19. Like, what is lightly contested on this 2K is considered as heavily contested on 2K18. You know, when you open on this game, that's basically a lightly contested on 2K18. So, 
the only way you taking a heavily contested shot is if you are just clueless and you pulling up a dumb jump shot. You know what I'm saying? We getting buggers over here, so I ain't pulling up none of that whack stuff. I'm pulling up lightly contestants, and that's only every now and then if I'm forcing up a shot or something, you know, shot clock going down. But that's it. But so this batch is definitely pointless. If you one of those that just, you know, pull up while somebody in your face the whole game, you know, praying for a shot, then, yeah, go ahead, grind for this batch. But all of the good players, y'all know that this batch is so pointless because it does nothing. It doesn't activate. You can test it out yourself. You probably think that it worked. But you're not paying attention to your badge activating because it don't show up at all. Now, that is definitely the worst badge to me, hands down. Now, before I wrap this up, man, I just got to throw in this other badge, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just crazy to me because 2K18 is like you blew all layups. And now on 2K19, they just got dudes blowing nonstop dunks. And I just don't get that at all. Because why do I have posterizer silver, but I'm missing like three back-to-back -back contact dunks? That is just lame to me. I haven't seen a pure slasher play, so they probably be completing their dunks. But still, there's no reason why I should be missing contact dunks consecutively while I have silver post rods. It just don't make sense to me, man. Like, that need to get fixed. It need to be a patch for that to where you complete dunks more or something. You know, layups too, because layups be, I don't know, the layups a little lame. It ain't no reason why I should be a, a slashing shot creator and I'm missing some layups that's a little contested. You feel me? But that don't happen too often, so I ain't going to complain about layups. It's just a dunk. But, man, I ain't going to talk too bad about 2K to y'all for that long, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go ahead and wrap this video up, man. Make sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new to the channel. More content on the way, like I said, man. And let me know what y'all think is the worst badge to y'all down below in the comments. You feel me? And uh, Yeah, that's a wrap for this video, man. I'm out.